I'm Master Sergeant Caleb Tulliger. I work for the Medical Center of Excellence at Fort Sam Houston, San Antonio, Texas. I'm here today demonstrating a training capability, not the mannequin, but what the mannequin is used for. This is a tool that we use for all service members to ensure that they can deal with the leading causes of preventable death on the battlefield. Over the last 20 years of war, we know that almost a quarter of our combat casualties were preventable had we done the right thing at the right time. This mannequin is currently available at 41 training sites that can be signed out from the Task C by medics that are trained to use it. There's 77 of these out there. Again, this is for medics to incorporate into unit collective training so that units as a whole are able to deal with all these injuries. As rough as this patient is, this patient is survivable, and if the right things are done at the right time, this patient will be back to duty leading PT in 18 months. The capabilities of this mannequin, we can do tourniquets, massive bleeds, and amputations. You see the broken leg here, which can be splinted. These wounds can be dressed. They do capillary bleeding. Up here, we have a femoral bleed, which can be packed. And all these wounds are responsive to correct pressures and treatment methodologies to make sure they stop bleeding. The mannequin can breathe. The mannequin can bleed. We can administer IVs. We can administer IO access. We can do crikes. We can do intubation. Nasal, uh, nasal trumpet. Additionally, as we see the head lack here, we can model different kind of head injuries depending on what the pupils are doing. Again, this is an all soldier or CLS level task. Now, once we get through the basics, the crawl phase of being able to do the appropriate medical procedures, the high point of this mannequin is injecting it into unit collective training at the platoon, at the company, at the battalion. When we do this, we're assessing not just medical capability, but leader capability and decision making. Who was this soldier? How many soldiers can I afford to take out of the fight? And that really depends on the context of the tactical situation that caused this casualty. I can treat this guy, I can save him, but should I? If we look at the wounds here, this is very similar to a dismounted um, pressure plate IED. You know, shears up that leg, shreds the back one. Well, how often do you see an IED all by itself? All right, so there may be more IEDs around it. There may be a crew serve weapon serving overwatch in that IED. Any of those things may dictate at a unit level that we don't go to save this guy. All right, or maybe this is my vehicle operator and we have to work him out of a tank. So essentially what this does, although we do the medical thing, we talk about life saving, integrating in this training is what allows our you know, squads, platoons and companies to maintain defensive capability after they have casualties.